Lab TV travels to an Air Force research lab in Dayton, Ohio, where engineers are powering some cool devices by perching them on power lines. What we do is we harvest the energy directly from the power lines, so these systems can operate 24-7, 365 days a year. You don't have to replace batteries, nothing. You just install them, you walk away. These engineers have figured out a way to harness electricity from power lines without going into the wires. But when they started this project, they had a lot of questions. One of the questions we needed to answer was, could we put cameras and radio transmitters and receiver on a power line and have them work without having the power line causing interference? And what we found out was, yes, we could. So once we determined that we could put things on a power line and they could work, the next step was now we needed to be able to actually harvest power from the power line and power the electronics. The type of power in power lines is called AC or alternating current electricity. Batteries use DC or direct current electricity. Those electrons only flow in one direction. With alternating current electricity, the direction of the current reverses or alternates 60 times a second. So the charge at the ends of the wires alternates between negative and positive. That creates a magnetic field around the wires, which is the key to power harvesting. These systems will get their power based on inductive coupling. When current flows through power lines, current emits a magnetic field. This magnetic field is existing in all the power lines all over the world. What we can do is we can take advantage of that and come up with a circuit that surrounds the power line and actually captures that magnetic energy. By capturing the magnetic energy, we can turn it back into electricity and use that to power a variety of circuits and electronics. That process, called electromagnetic induction, also powers generators, motors, and even electric toothbrushes. Here, a silicon steel split core wraps around the power line and concentrates the magnetic fields. And then a coil of wire wrapped around it generates electric current. So the AC electricity flowing through a wire can generate electricity in another circuit without actually touching it. This first guy was running off a battery. The next guy was actually powered off of the power line using our power harvesting techniques. And these devices, perched on power lines, would be pretty hard to spot. They're installed off the ground, they're 50 feet up, so they're kind of hard to see. If you're driving down a road, they almost look like a part of the power line. Now that they can harness the electricity, they're developing small helicopters that will lift the sensor devices onto the power lines. In this particular configuration, it takes all eight props to lift a 10-pound payload, which is with the weight of this particular sensor. So as the sensor technology gets better and these become smaller, this aircraft can also become smaller. And eventually we are going to have a, a rotary version of these sensors that will fly up a thousand feet, for example, take a couple of snapshots and then fly back down. Once it lands on the power line, it will transmit back the information. And using induction, it will also start charging itself. That means we could take a system like this, put it in a power line in a remote location, and you could be sitting back in your office two states away or across the country and you could have access to the imagery. It's like when you're a kid and you're working on your bike. It's like that times a thousand. I love it. I love being an engineer. Electrical, of course. To find out more about power harvesting and electromagnetic induction, check out labtvonline.org.